in this video, we'll be hunting two boxes of pennies, as well as seeing if we can make any progress to the Penny Hunt Huntville album. Of course, we'll be looking for any wheat cents from 1958 or older. We'll also be looking for any forms, proofs, errors or varieties, or any other cool things we can find, as well as setting aside any copper and seeing how much we can fill up the copper jar. And I did look for enders in both boxes, and we do have a couple of enders in box number one. We do have a wheat cent ender, which is a great sign. Right here is a 1948 Denver. I can see the date. And we have another ender, and I've never gotten one of these as an ender before, a 1960D small date. It looks like it's a pretty rough shape with a bunch of gunk on it, but still. 60D small date, usually I get one or two of those per hunt, and having one as an ender is definitely unique. In the past couple episodes, we didn't, we haven't been able to fill any spots for a few episodes, so I'm hoping in this episode we can get at least one spot filled for the album. So that's my goal for today. So, let's start the hunt on box number one with the Wheat Scent Ender, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Well, it took us nine rolls, but we are going to get the first wheat in of the box besides the Ender. Also, we're going to have the second Canadian. I'll just pull out since I have you here. It doesn't look too old. It's just a 1981. And the first wheat in of the box besides the Ender is right here. And it's going to be a 1946 Denver. Next roll, we're going to have wheat set number two. Just a few coins in, and I did miss it by the edge, probably due to its corrosion. But wheat set number two is a 1957 Denver. Just opened roll 12, and I just see the edge of wheat set number three in the middle of the roll, right here. And it looks like it's glued down in the middle or something, and it is 1951 out of Philly in pretty good shape. Just opened roll 14, and the box is heating up. We have the wheat set enter in a couple rolls, and I just opened this roll. I see the edge of the fourth wheat set of the hunt, and it looks like it's in pretty decent shape by the edge. And yeah, that is a really nice wheat scent. A little bit brown, probably a red brown, uncirculated. Probably in the late 50s, but hopefully it'll upgrade the album. And it is a little bit in the earlier 50s, actually. It's a 1952 Denver. Looks like maybe a little ring of death on Lincoln's head, but overall, really nice shape. And hopefully it'll upgrade the album. Roll 16 was the Wheat Scent Ender. Don't see anything else in the roll so far, but the Wheat Scent Ender is 1948 Denver, and that makes five Wheat Scents on the box. Same roll as the Ender, and I just uncovered another Wheat Scent in the roll from the 40s, so this is number six of the box already, and it's a 1944 minted in Denver. Just opened roll 21, and I see the edge of Wheat Scent number seven near the front of the roll right here. And the seventh wheat scent is going to be a 1951 Denver. Roll 23 just uncovered the eighth wheat scent of the box, and it is another 1957 Denver. Just opened roll 25, the halfway point of the box, and I see the edge of wheat scent number nine. So nine wheat scents in half the box. If we can get another nine, that's 18 wheat scents, which would make it a really great box. And wheat scent number nine, it's another 1957 Denver. Just opened roll 30, and we're going to make double-digit wheat scents because I see the edge of the 10th wheat scent right here. And wheat scent 10 is going to be 1945 Minton in Philly. Roll 32, just uncovered another wheat scent. This has been a great box for wheat scents for sure. We still have 18 rolls to go. This one is another 1957 Denver. Just opened roll 39, and we're going to have a few finds in this roll. It's been a while since the last Canadian I've pulled out, but in this roll we're going to have two Canadians and a weight scent, so it's going to be a pretty good roll. Pull out one Canadian, it's just another 1981, and the other Canadian is a 1968, and the weight scent right here, another pretty nice one, probably a red-brown, maybe another upgrade. It's a 1953 Denver, hopefully that'll upgrade the album. Just open roll 41, and we're going to have another Canadian and a wheat scent in the same roll. A lot of Canadians and wheat scents in the same rolls at the end of the box. Let's pull out the Canadian first. Not too old, just a 1974. Decent shape, and the wheat scent is near the front of the roll, right here. And it's going to be a 1946 Denver. Roll 43, and the box is going to stay hot because I just uncovered yet another wheat scent. This one's going to be 1944, Philadelphia. Roll 46, and the box has been great so far, but we haven't had any oldies until now, because I just uncovered 1928 
out of Denver, and it's actually in really good shape for its age, probably in a VF to XF condition. And on the reverse, yeah, look at those wheat stocks. So much detail left on it. And a 1928 Denver is going to fill a spot in the album. 31 million minted, and then we're going to have all of the 1928s, which is awesome. And this 28 Denver, again, it's in nice shape. Definitely but the best find of the hunt so far, by far. That is awesome to find. Just open the next roll, and I see the edge of yet another wheat scent near the back of the roll. Hopefully, it's an old one like the last one that's going to fill a spot, but based on how it looks, I don't think it's going to be very old. And it's not just 1955 out of Denver. Just open roll 48, and we don't have another wheat scent, but we're going to get another Canadian. And the reason I'm bringing you in, I already peeked at the date, it's going to be a young head because I see it's a 1963. Which is the second to last year Younghead, the first of the box, which is awesome. That was all for box number one, and it was a really good box, mostly due to the wheat scents. We ended up with 16 for the box, which is really good. A couple of nicer ones in the 50s at 52 and 53 Denver are pretty much red brown, might upgrade the album. And one old one we got is going to fill a spot, 1928 Denver. And I said at the beginning that my goal is to fill a spot, and we did that goal with this box, which is super awesome. And then for the Canadians, we ended up with 10 for the box. One old one, just a 1963 young head, but out, definitely great to see. And a couple of miscellaneous finds as well. That 1960 small day ender that I mentioned. No other ones in the box. It's pretty, pretty rough shape, but still cool to see it as an ender. And a gold colored, I don't think it's gold plated. It's just a 1999 Denver. Pulled to the side just because of that. Not worth anything, of course. So that was a super good first box. Hopefully the second box has similar success. So let's start hunting box number two. And I'll bring you in when we have the first find. Roll three is going to have the first find of the second box. And it's not a wheat scent. And it's going to be an older Canadian. It's going to be the second young head of the hunt. I can see that by the edge. And this one's going to be a 1962. Pretty easy in shape as well. Roll nine is going to give us the first wheat scent of box number two. Because I see the edge of it near the middle of the roll right here. And box number two's first wheat scent is... From the 30s with a mint mark, a 1937 Denver, and we do have that one for the album with 50 million minted, but still, starting the box off with the 30s from Denver, that is awesome. Next roll, and we have two rolls in a row with a wheat set because I just opened this roll, and I see the edge of another one right there. Hopefully it's another oldie with a mint mark, but based on the look, it probably isn't. And no, just a common 1957 Denver. Roll 19, and I see the edge of the third wheat scent of box 2. And it is this dark colored one right here. Barely noticed it. And it's going to be a 1942 out of Philly. Roll 25, halfway point of the second box. And I just uncovered the fourth wheat scent of the box, although it is just the last year, 1958 Denver. Roll 31, just uncovered wheat set number 5 from box number 2, and just like the last one, it's another 1958 Denver. Just open the next roll, and I see the edge of another wheat set, which is going to make 6 for box number 2 now, near the front of the roll right here. And it's in pretty nice shape, probably in the 50s, and it is a 1951 Denver. A couple rolls later, roll 34, just open the roll, and I see the edge of another wheat set. These last few rolls have been heating up, so hopefully that means we can get double digits for the box. And this is number 7 right here, and it's going to be a 1941 Philly. Same roll, just a couple coins in, and we're going to have another wheat set. So this is number 8 for the box, and we still have 16 rolls to go. And this one is a 1944 out of Philly. Roll 44, now we're only one wheat scent away from double digits because I just opened this roll and I see the edge of wheat scent number 9 near the back. And this wheat scent is actually in really nice shape. I didn't see that by the edge, but yeah, it's really nice. Hopefully an upgrade for the album. And it's a 1951 out of Philly in nice shape. I bet this will upgrade. Don't have many Phillies in this nice shape. That is awesome. Just opened roll 46, still not at 10 wheat cents, but I did just open this roll, and one away from being an ender at the front, we're going to have another young head Canadian, which is awesome. It's the third young head of the hunt, and it's going to be a 1959. 
both penny boxes have been hunted, so let's go over the finds. We end up with 8 1959s, 18 Esmonds, as well as 23 2009s. 4s, we end up with 14, with all of them being Canadian, including a few older young heads from 1959, 1962, and 1963, which is awesome to see. And then we did have a couple miscellaneous finds. We did have that 1960D small blade that was an ender. It's pretty damaged, but still cool to see. As well as this, I'm not sure if it's gold colored or gold plated. It's a 1999 Denver, not too sure about that one. And then, lastly for wheat cents, we end up with 25 for two boxes, which is a great number to see, including a few nicer ones from the early 50s, which hopefully a couple of those will upgrade. And we did have two pre-40s, both with mint marks, which is awesome. A 1937 Denver and a 1928 Denver. And the 28 Denver is going to be an addition, and this 37 Denver is in pretty nice shape, so maybe we'll upgrade. Still, a couple of pre-40s with mint marks, super rare to find, super awesome to get those. And lastly for copper, we did pretty average for the hunt, almost filled up the copper jar, which is definitely good for two boxes and usually about what I get. So now, let's go through all the finds and we'll see how much progress we make to the album, and I'll bring you back with an album update. Just finished updating the album, and I'm happy to say that we made a lot of progress in this episode. We ended up with one edition and four upgrades, which is awesome. The one edition is, of course, that pretty nice 1928 Denver. Now we have all three 1928s. Super awesome to find that. And we had four upgrades as well. Two of the upgrades were Wheat Sense. We ended up upgrading the 1951 Philly, nice red-brown one. And same with that 53 Denver, which we upgraded as well. A couple more red-brown Wheat Sense is always awesome to add. Then we also had a couple of memorial scents as well. We finally got a BU Red 1960 large date Philadelphia, which is awesome. And the other one I upgraded was the 1978 because the old one we had a couple fingerprints on it. So good to upgrade that one as well. So one edition, four upgrades. It's a lot more progress than we've gotten in the last couple episodes. Again, as the farther we go in the series, it's harder to make progress. But we did get good progress in this hunt because we got so many great finds. And overall, this was a super awesome Penny Hunt and Phil series episode.